Hi guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today's topic is we'll be unboxing our 40 gate fire. See 40 net, 40 gate, right? 40 net is a company like you, you have Cisco company, right? Cisco has a product, multiple products like ASA, FTD, firewall, you know, same way 40 net is the company and 40 gate is the product, right? So we have a 40 gate firewall. It's a next generation firewall. Now I want you guys to work on hardware. So here on the words, our training will be on the hardware, on the licensed device, right? So we'll show you live deployments, right? We'll show you live traffic monitorings, live incidents, live configurations. That's our target, right? So today I'll do unboxing of new file, right? So here you can see this is hardware and so you can see uh, this is our 40 gate firewall hardware right and its model number is 40f the model number of this particular firewall is 40f right and here are some instructions given like how do you register how do you connect with cloud right so licenses are also included here this license if you see they have included cloud setup you see it's written here cloud setup can you guys see here written as a cloud setup it means there are two ways of controlling this firewall one would be physically you can connect second is configure some IPs and connect this to cloud. We call it as a 40 cloud. So we have a 40 manager, right? So you get a free from physical access. Now, once you connect this firewall to a 40 cloud, no matter where you are now, log into a 40 cloud, you get access to your firewall, live monitoring, live configuration, everything you can do to the cloud itself. And in a cloud itself, you get again, three facilities management monitoring and you get sandbox sandbox is like the extra attacks that comes unknown attacks that comes that will be stopped by your sandboxing so 40 sandbox gets included in the 40 cloud so 40 cloud includes three things right I, as i told you monitoring analyzing monitoring plus management and sandbox. These are the three things that works. So for that, you need a license. Without license, not possible. That's why we have purchased box this time, right? Now, this firewall hardware also has multiple facilities, multiple advantages that your software does not have. For example, we have VDUMS facility. Now, what is VDUMS? Like if you are aware of any other firewalls, like let's say ASA, mostly of you guys are aware of, right? So in ASA firewall, you have multi-contexting, right? In a firewall, I mean, in a hardware, you have a feature that supports only with the hardware. I mean, inside a box, I can split into multiple virtual firewalls. I'm not talking about the virtualization that you do on the VMware or ESXi, not that. That's a virtual machine. I'm talking about the hardware inside a hardware. You can break your hardware into multiple firewalls internally I and mean, virtually you can create like in ASA, we call it as a multi-context. Same thing we can do here. We call it as a VDUMS. So in a VDUMS, what we can do, let's say VDUMS depends like how many VDUMS you can create that totally depends on license file. So if let's say basic firewall license allows you to create 10 VDUMs, it means I can create 10 virtual firewalls. So one virtual firewall, I can use it for my personal setup for NS traffic. Another I can use for uh, traffic monitoring. Another I can use for a student access. Like that, I can create multiple VDUMs and I can use it. So you guys can also have hands-on access to your real devices. That's the main topic, right? Now, in this hardware, you'll see 
this is the front panel okay in this front panel you can see it's written here 40 net company and 40 get firewood and what is the model number 40 f now if you want to know a specification of this firewood like what is the throughput supported right now next generation throughput will be different interface throughput will be different feature wise different throughputs you'll get like like for ipsec you'll get a different throughput uh, for intrusion prevention you'll get a different throughputs there are different type of throughputs that you get based on the features right this firewall has a different architecture compared to other firewalls so modular based architecture this firewall has right now what is modular based architecture those things are explained in our classes so when you attend the live classes right there you'll understand what is the architecture of your 40 gate firewall like checkpoint firewall has three tier architecture right after that Palo Alto has sp3 architecture same way 40 gate firewall has modular based architecture right so you have a hardware on top of that inside the hardware you have onboard chips on top of that you have 40 os operating system on top of that you have modules and those modules are surrounded by 40 guard subscription i mean on top of that we have a subscription each module is like we have a firewall module we have a ips module different modules are there now what's the benefit of modular based firewalling right now that's again separate level of discussion that we have to do right so here you can see different type of interfaces are here guys regarding modular architectures those things can be discussed in our classes live classes okay here i'll give you overview what is there in file so here you can see you have a power connection over here and this is usb connected like external backup and all if we have to take we can directly connect over here we have a console access what's a console access physical access physical access we have to take right we'll take a physical access right and then we'll manage our file let's say for the first time uh, you have default IP configured over here, predefined IPs we have. But that predefined IP does not match your network. So I need to configure it as per my network. So management IP. What is management IP used for? Manage the devices of access. Okay. See, this is console port, right? This is for physical access, not for management. Here we have multiple ports, right? one two three four ports we have we have a dedicated wan interface right i can connect to any one of this port like first port will be considered as a management interface so i can connect my interface here i can configure ip i can connect my rc45 connector and that connector i mean that cable i can take it to my pc and get access to the port that i can do but in order to configure this port you need some pre-access right you don't have pre-configured IP over here. So what we have to do, take a console access. Go the console access, configure through CLI, and now take a remote access, like a HTTP, HTTPS, Telnet, SSH, right? Now there are few services by default enabled at the ports, but you can statically enable of your choice. That totally depends how you want to configure it, right? So it has a predefined IP. We'll use that predefined IP to get access. But if I don't want to use that predefined default IP, so I can connect with the console and take a remote, I mean, take the physical access and configure IP as per my requirement. Right. So next level of configuration would be how to configure this firewall from scratch, right, to our console. So. How does it look like? What are the interfaces? What are the services? That's our next level of thing. So guys, I'll be taking you to my desktop screen and there I'll show you how to configure a 40 gate firewall from the scratch, right? So guys, this is our hardware and this is our power adapter. So we'll insert this power adapter over here and you will see LED will start here. So here I can see this is power LED. Okay, so power has come now. And this is our console cable, guys. Right? 
So this console cable, let me tell you, see earlier, our PCs used to come with serial port, right? So this serial port, no more we are having in our PCs, right? So we have connected this serial port with the USB connector and it has converted into our USB, right? So this serial port has to get installed in your PC. It will form a communication port, right? So either you use latest operating system like Windows 10 and all, will come by default with the driver pre-installed in your operating system. You don't have to install it. If you are using lower operating systems, then you need a driver that comes with your cable itself. But with new operating systems not required. So with this connector, you can see this you can insert into your PC. It will form one COM port. And this is RJ45 connector. We'll connect it here. <coughs> okay. And this I'll insert in my PC. And thereafter, I'll show you guys how to take a console access, right? So I'll insert this USB cable in my PC. And hereafter, I'll share my screen and I'll show you how to access it. Now we are on our desktop screen. So first of all, I'll open device manager. And here you can check communication port. So if you don't see your communication port detected here, there can be issue with your USB or serial cable might be an issue. So let me connect again. And once I connect, it gets refreshed. And here you can see communication port has established, right? So COM port 8. Now this communication port will help you to connect with some software. So open PuTTY software and here serial number right and here i'll put serial number 8 and you will see speed is 9600 open it you will get the access but sometimes you might get zigzag type of options and all not getting a fresh desktop cli access then you should make some changes uh, here itself Go to settings and here you have a serial and you see flow control over here, make it none, right? So any disturbance you have in a CLI access that will be cleared and you can get your text in a fresh way. Now here login is admin, default admin and there is no password by default guys. No password means no, nothing. Simply press enter asking for a new password. I'll set a new password. And you see, I'm into firewall here. So, system interface. If you give this command, it shows you this interfaces over here. Right. So, these are the interfaces. Right. So, total interfaces you guys can see here. And what do you see here? There is one interface which is having pre-configured IP address as a 192.168.1.99. So I need to connect my laptop and I need to connect to that particular interface where this IP is configured. And you see these are the services allowed by default. As I told you, these are the default services allowed here. Now, if you want to modify this, right, you can modify. Now here, you see static IP has been already configured, right? In some firewalls at the interface, you will see DHCP enabled. Let's say, for example, at the WAN interface, what is it set here? Set mode DHCP. It means at the WAN interface, if I connect the interface, I mean cable, right? If I have a DHCP pre-configured in my network, it will receive IP address from the router, I mean DHCP router. And it will come here. And at the LAN interface, I don't have, right? And at the management interface, if you see, this is a different link over here, guys. Okay. This I'll talk later. Right now, you can see we have the management interface pre configured, right? That's 
192.168.1.99 at which interface lan interface itself right this i can use it for management purpose right see this name lan van it's all customizable i can manage it i can put it as a mgmt since that firewall which i had shown you right 40f does not have a dedicated management interface though you keep taking the higher models right higher models if you go right you'll get a dedicated management interfaces now depends right what firewall suits your requirement for me this firewall requirement is fine you have a dedicated console interface and you have the wan interface you have lan interfaces at the lan interface itself one of the ip is pre-configured here now this changes if you want to do you can do it as per your requirement so this configurations and all I'll be showing you guys in a next part of the video where I'll be showing uh, how to take a remote access through Telnet, SSH, depending on what service you enable, right? Right now, if I start enabling those services, if I start doing a configuration, it will take a long time. So in a next video, I'll show you how to configure.